Hey everybody, and welcome to Dark Souls. This is just going to be a mini update, because we're going to fight Havel. And you may have noticed that we have a different hand weapon. Well, this is the Battle Axe. It's what the uh, bandit would come up and start with. Um, it's... Oh, it is so much better than the hand axe. Uh, the problem, though, being that it weighs a lot more. A lot more. But uh, you get the over-the-head slice, which deals pretty good damage, pretty good damage, and you, you don't get the uh, double swing like you would with the hand axe. So, I mean, you do you do trade speed for damage, but it's very worth it. Alright, Havel. I'm going to show you pretty much the coward's way to fighting Havel, because at this point, he could rock our shit. <laughs> yeah, you gotta bait him into attacking, and then you go in from behind, and maybe we can uh, throw a fireball or two at him. See what I mean? It's gonna take a long, long time. Even a fireball did almost nothing to him. It's because of his armor. You can parry his attacks. I mean, it's it's perfectly possible, especially uh, now. Uh, in between the Taurus Demon and now I've leveled up. Uh, we're now level 13. We put way more into endurance and into our health. For one, because pyromancers have almost no health. And for two, the more endurance we have, the more stamina we have in order to, you know, sustain attacks from, I don't know, Havel, which almost eats away our whole stamina bar. And also, uh, it gives us the ability to equip heavier loads, and with the Black Knight Sword weighing a whopping uh, eight units, that's that's going to uh, that's going to need way more stamina than what we have, because we want to keep the fast roll, which is what we have right now. Uh, the more that we have on at the 25% weight load, um, we'll start to get a slower roll into what we, what I like to call the backflop roll, which uh, some people like, but I don't know why they like it. It's, it's really, really pathetic. But the reason why we're fighting Havel is that he has a very, very useful ring. I always get super shaky when he runs after me. Because he can do things like that! Oh, and he was just about to do his secondary strike. Oh god, that was kind of lucky, actually. And you can kind of see why I didn't want to put it in with the uh, Taurus Demon boss. It's just... It just doesn't take... Uh, it just takes way too long, and it's not quite the interesting uh, fight. That's why this, this is, you know, the mini-update. And once this is done, we're actually going to go back to the bonfire. Um, we're going to need way more strength and dex to wield the Black Knight Sword, so we're not quite there yet. I need to put two more into dex. And I'm going to buy a short bow, and we'll get one of the, pretty much considered one of the best starting weapons in the game. We're not using it, though. But you'll see that in the uh, next update. I kind of want to be fancy and parry his last attack, but... Being fancy gets you killed sometimes. And yet, yeah, he will. He will drop us. Luckily, we can get both his shield, his weapon, 
and even his whole armor set uh, much later on in the game. Plunging attack! Nope. Okay, no. No. Bad idea. Bad idea. Let's do that, except the exact opposite this time. It's not like he has very much health either, it's just he takes no damage. Havel's ring. Now then. Boost maximum equipment load. So we're gonna go from 58 to 87. So it increased your maximum load by 50% not too shabby. And there's nothing else in his room, but there is this. We can go through the Dark Root Basin if we want to uh, get to the first bell, but that would skip most of the other levels, and we want to see all of that first. I want to thank you all for joining me on this mini-update. We'll see you next time.